Hi everybody, hope you're okay. Mr. Martin here with this afternoon's wonder science lesson for you all. So this is going to be our last lesson on the human body for a while. Now over the course of this afternoon we have looked at bones and muscles and we've looked at their functions, we've looked at the names of some of the major bones and some of the major muscles and I was really really impressed on your box set finales how many of the muscles you managed to get right and how many of the questions on bones and muscles. So we've just got a little bit left to cover. We know that the human body is made up of bones and muscles, but today we're going to find out about how those bones um, are joined together to make us move. So our what for Tuesday the 9th of February 2021? You need to write the date and underline it, please. And you need to write science as your wonder subject title. Our what for today's lesson is we're going to know that a joint is where two or more bones meet. We're going to do it through reading and researching, but we're not going to be doing it through a book. We're going to be using a video to help us, okay? But it's still researching. And we're going to be able to group the different types of joints in the human body. There are lots of different types. Okay, let's have a look. So here we've got our definition of a joint. We know that a joint is where two or more bones meet. So it might be two bones joining together, or it might be a collection of bones meeting and joining together. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the video and try and think, how many joints can you think of in the human body? And I've given you one here. Your elbow is a joint. It's where your lower arm and your upper arm bones meet at our elbow. Okay, This bone meets this bone at our elbow. They join here. So pause the video. Can you think of any more joints in your body? Okay, hopefully you've had some time to think about that. So we're going to go through a few of the main joints and then we're going to look at how they are similar and how they are different. So first of all, we've got your elbow and I'd like to point to them, as I said, an elbow. Fantastic. We've also got our knee. Okay, so it joins our thigh bone and our shin bone together at our knees where they meet. Our ankle joins the bones in our foot to the bones in our leg. Our hip joins the bones from our back to our legs. Your jaw is a bone inside your skull. And we've also got our shoulder joint, where your arm is connected to your body. It meets our collarbone here. So we've got six of the major joints in the human body on our screen. However, they do not all work in the same way. So let's have a look. Now, it's important for me to point out at this point that there are different types of joints. Joints can either be fixed, which means they are immovable, they cannot move. For example, you've got joints inside your skull where two bits of bone meet, but they cannot move. So they are immovable joints. But the joints we're going to be looking at are movable joints. So all of these ones on our screen are movable joints. They are part of your body where movement happens. So let's have a look then. We've got four types of movable joints that we are going to be looking at today. So I'll go through them and then I'll explain what they are. So our first type of movable joint is a hinge joint. Okay, my turn, your turn. Hinge joint, good. Our next type of joint is a ball and socket joint. My turn, ball and socket. Sounds a bit funny, that one, doesn't it? But we're gonna talk about it. Next one, a pivot joint, a pivot joint. And then we have a gliding joint, a gliding joint. So we've got four types of joint where two or more bones meet and movement happens. All right, I'm gonna go through what each one is, but I'm going to try and not give any examples because you're going to watch the video and find some examples for me in a minute. So a hinge joint is where two or more bones meet and there is a forward and backward motion or 
movement. Think about a hinge on a door, how it swings open, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. That is our hinge joint. Our second joint that is movable is a ball and socket joint. So I want you to think, cup your hand in like this shape and then make a fist and stick it in there. A ball and socket sort of rolls around and it can rotate and move, but it's always supported by this socket that it sits in, okay? So we've got a ball inside a socket joint and you can rotate and move around. Next type of movable joint, we've got a pivot joint. Now a pivot joint simply means it stays still, but it can rotate to either side, okay? Rotate to either side. And then our final type of movable joint. So all these joints are where movement happens. Is a gliding joint. And this is where two bones sit on top of each other and they sort of roll and move on top of each other. They glide across. Okay, so we've got hinge. No, I did that. Didn't. Hinge, ball and socket, where it can move around in the socket. Uh, pivot, where it moves just side to side and then gliding where they move over the top of each other. Right, our task now is we're going to watch a video. And the woman on the video talks in detail and gives some really nice examples about these four different types of movable joints. And she gives examples of joints in the human body that are a hinge joint, a ball and socket, a pivot, and a gliding joint. So before you watch the video, underneath today's date, you need to draw with a ruler, please, this table of your headings of hinge, ball and socket, pivot, and gliding. So pause the video where you do that now. And as we go through the video, the woman will say an example of a joint, and I would like you to write it in the correct column. Sounds good? Right, let me get the video for us then, while you're doing that. Share my sound. And we'll come back together after and check to see if we are correct. All right. Which type of joint is which movable? The movements and joints. In this module, you will learn about body movements and joints. You do different exercises in your yoga classes at school. For doing these exercises, you do different types of movements. For example, moving your arms and legs, forward bending, shoulder rotation and many more. You can do these movements easily because your body is flexible. Such flexibility in our body is due to the presence of joints. Do you know what a joint is? Well, a joint is actually a place where two bones are joined together. Press your hand against your knee, shoulder or your fingers. You can feel your joints there. Not all joints allow movements. On the basis of whether the joint helps in the movement or not, these joints can be categorized into two types, immovable and movable. The immovable joints are the joints that allow no movement of the body parts. These are also called fixed joints. Such joints are found in the skull. Except the joints present in the skull, all other joints found in the body are movable. Movable joints are the joints that help in the movement of the body parts. Movable joints are further of four different types. They are hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Let us learn about these joints one by one. Let us first learn about the hinge joint. A hinge joint is very similar to a door hinge. You can see that the door hinge allows the opening and closing of the door in two directions. Similarly, a hinge joint in the body also allows the movement in two directions, that is forward and backward or upward and downward. The elbow and knee joints are the two examples of the hinge joint. Let us now learn about the ball and socket joint. In the ball and socket joint, the end of one bone acts like a ball. This bone fits into another bone, which acts as a socket. 
Hence, the joint is called the ball and socket joint. This arrangement allows easy movement of the body parts in all the directions. The hip joint and shoulder joint are the two examples of the ball and socket joint. The next type of joint is the pivot joint. In this type of joint, one of the bones acts like a cylinder and fits into the end of the other bone, which is like a ring. Hence, the first bone rotates inside the ring and allows easy movement of the body part in different directions. An example of a pivot joint is the neck joint. The pivot joint allows the movement of neck sideways, upward and downward. It even allows the rotation of the neck. The last type of joint is the gliding joint. This type of joint allows the bones to glide over each other and hence allows slight movement of the body parts. In this type of joint, the joint bones are flat and so they slide back and forth and side to side. Ankle joint and wrist joint are some examples of the gliding joint. Now, there is a special tissue that holds the two bones of a joint in position. This is called ligament. There is another soft tissue that covers a joint from outside. This is called cartilage. The bones are not visible from outside. So okay, we're going to leave it there because that goes in a little bit too much in depth for us in year three. Here we are then, back to our types of movable joints. And the lady in the video gave examples of the movable joints. So I'd like you to spend some time filling in. What did she say were hinge joints? So action for hinge, ball and socket joints, pivot joints, and gliding joints. Okay. So fill those in now, and then we're going to have a look through them. Okay, so the hinge joints in our body are our elbow, that helps us move like that, and our knee. If you bend your knee forwards and backwards, that is your hinge joint working. The ball and socket joints in our body are our shoulder. So there's a big ball at the end of a bone that sticks in your shoulder, and that helps us move, and it can roll and rotate. And also your hip. Your hip is a really solid joint, okay? So the top of your leg sort of sits in your hip like that in a nice basket and it can move your leg around. Pivot joint, now I forgot to say this at the start, we have in our neck. So you can move your neck, but it doesn't go forwards and backwards. So hinge, we've got knee and elbow. Ball and socket, we've got hip and shoulder joint. Pivot is in our neck, the vertebrae in our neck. And then gliding is in your wrist or the little bones. We've got lots and lots of little bones in your wrist to help us move and they move on top of each other. And your ankle. Okay, so there's a little bit of movement in there in your uh, wrist. Okay, well done if you said that and you got them right. Hopefully you have. Send them over to us, please. Um, can I also ask that we write out under our date the definition of what the joint is? In the video, they said two bones, but it can also be where two or more bones meet. So recap, date and science underlined. Um, what a joint is as our definition, and you need to complete this table with the names of the joints in the human body. And that brings us to the end of our learning on the human body for now. Thank you. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.